Welcome to episode 14 of the Unstoppable Podcast. My name is Dan J. Gregory, and I am committed to hunting down the secrets of business mastery and human performance. My goal for the Unstoppable Podcast is to share insights from some of the most successful entrepreneurs, inspiring thought leaders, world-class athletes, and prominent celebrities to help you to become unstoppable in business and life. Each week, I'll be bringing you a new interview with an inspiring person and sharing my own results as I pursue the answer to the question, how can I create the ultimate edge in my business, make a significant impact, and live an extraordinary life? Welcome to episode 14 of the Unstoppable Podcast. It's a beautiful, sunny spring day here in Great Britain. It's a wonderful day, and I am delighted to finally see some blue sky. So on that note, I'm ready to dive into the Monday solo round, where we're going to talk about the key takeaways and learnings from Jake's episode, the previous episode. Also going to go into some unstoppable insights and share a challenge for you to take away following this episode. Let's get straight into the debrief. Last week, I had the absolute pleasure of having two times author, seminar leader, inspirational speaker, Jake Ducey on the show. It was a really great session with real pearls of wisdom, but there were three core takeaways I'll be personally implementing on the back of the session with Jake. So firstly, is to focus deeper on my vision. Jake spoke about how he would post all over his wall what his vision was to be published by a certain author. And he had his cue cards that he would take everywhere with him to the gym, constantly reinforcing repetition, what he wanted to achieve, what his vision was, and what he needed to do. And this is just something that I'm not doing on a deep enough level. So my first action is to really lock in that power of intention, have that focused vision with thorough repetition on a daily basis. Not only just reading my vision, but actually taking the time to immerse myself in feeling it and seeing it as though it's already real. The second thing I took away was the law of compensation in that you are paid in accordance for the need for what you do, your ability to do it and how easy it is to replace you. Therefore, you don't earn what you want, you earn what you are. And what this made me realize is that it's been a while since I consciously took the time to look at my skill development. When I was in the corporate world, it'd be a regular occurrence. There'd be performance development reviews where I'd list all my skill sets and rate myself against those skills. It's not really something I've done to a great degree as an entrepreneur. So one thing I've taken away is that I'll be listing out all the skill sets I'm working on that I'm looking to master and focusing on how I can grow and develop each of those skills in pursuit of the vision. So things like becoming a better podcast host, speaking, coaching, marketing, and all the other skills that I need to focus on to build my business. The third thing was Jake's personal declarations. He shared three personal declarations that he reads every single day. The three that he shared were, I am so happy and grateful that money comes to me in increasing quantities from many sources on a continual basis. I feel peace within, inwardly, and outwardly. I'm connected to joy and love. So what I've taken away from this is to create my own set of personal declarations. And I took the time today to craft 10 to 15 statements in a similar vein to these personal declarations that I'll repeat to myself every single morning to develop my character and get myself in the state of mind to face my day and ultimately develop the belief. What Jake also shared as a result of his morning routine is that he takes time out just to smile for a couple of minutes. He'll sit there and smile just until his state changes. And I've already put this into practice in my daily meditation. So at the end of my daily meditation, I just take a few moments to feel gratitude and to smile, to to really embed the smile. You know, they say the biggest source of unemployment is in the face. (laughs) And, you know, it's when you're busy and you're focused, it can often be difficult to remember to smile. And it's such an important thing. So these are the three things that I'll be implementing. I'll be focusing deeply on my vision with daily repetition, really locking in the power of that vision and seeing it and feeling it as if it's already real. The second thing is focusing on the skills that I need to develop. I'll make that master list of all the skills that I'm working on and then check in once a week, once a month, once a quarter to make sure that each of those skills are moving forward and I'm taking direct action to improve those skills. And the final thing is that list of personal declarations, those beliefs, those incantations, those rituals for creating the unstoppable mind. So let's move now into the unstoppable insight section. And what I've got for you this week is a little bit different. At the weekend, I took some time out to 
study Mr. Steve Jobs. The reason I did this is that I, on the Friday night, I watched The Pirates of Silicon Valley, which is just an incredible film, and I strongly recommend it. And from the reviews that I've read, I believe that it's the best of of the several films that are out about Steve Jobs. Um, It's a really, really uh, inspiring film, and it provoked me to go away and look at Steve Jobs as a character, his leadership abilities, his vision. And then I went on to watch the 2015 Steve Jobs film, which again gave me lots more ideas. And I this crazy guy. I I was up late at night with, with a glass of whiskey, listening to classical music, had this stream of paper, and I was just scrawling notes What, in terms of what I saw that made Steve Jobs... Uh, such a powerful visionary leader and how he claimed his place amongst the greats and the first thing it made me do is think even bigger it kind of took the cap off my thinking so i'm entitling today's unstoppable insights think different which is named after one of apple's most iconic advertising campaigns so steve jobs always had the intention of making a positive impact in his lifetime it was all about making a dent in the universe and that's a phrase he used over and over again in terms of his vision it was never about how much money he was going to make it was about making a dent in the universe and making sure that everything he did led towards that vision and one of the biggest things i've taken from studying steve is the power of the vision. We've already spoken about it in this episode. It's, it's something that's come up in every single interview so far. The best way to predict the future is to create it and articulate a very clear vision. It was very clear when watching those films and studying uh, after those films that Steve Jobs was a master of articulating the vision to others. He had such a clear picture in his mind of what he wanted to create, so vivid that whenever any little detail he took the time to analyze, he could see straight away whether it was a fit or not for the product, for example. And that comes on to the second part, which is about simplicity. Everything he did was about the sophistication of simplicity. Whilst keeping things simple, he'd pay attention to all of the details, big and small. Every single detail mattered, but it was about simplifying the end product. He talked a lot about artistry, even in technology, it was about artistry and creativity and beauty. So I took a lot away from that in terms of that simple approach and really conquering complexity, drilling down to the simplest form and the most elegant form, but not forgetting to pay attention to every single detail, big and small. The next thing, the most important thing for me, really, in terms of a takeaway from studying Steve Jobs just for a brief period of time was his ability to what I call bend reality. His team called it reality distortion. Perhaps they would set a deadline for a project that to everyone else seemed completely impossible, but Steve was insistent that it was possible and that it would be done. And he had a pure desire to do whatever it takes to get it done. And you know what? That high standard, it meant that people delivered. He expected greatness of his team and guess what happened? They achieved greatness. He often asked things that would be wildly inconceivable, unfathomable almost, but his team pulled it off. And that ability to bend reality and not play by the rules, but create his own rules. It reminded me of the story of Henry Ford when he was creating the six-cylinder engine. And he sent his engineers to work on the six-cylinder engine. And they all told him it wouldn't be possible. And they spent months developing, 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 and not coming up with the goods. But Ford was insistent that it was possible. And you know what? Bang, they eventually did it. And it was very much the same as Steve Jobs. He'd have this vision. And even if someone said it wasn't possible, he would still focus upon making it happen and demanding excellence. He was often criticized for his leadership style, being hard on people. But that that standard that he held meant that people delivered at rates that they would not have delivered anywhere else. So my unstoppable insight for this week is to look at your life and understand, are you thinking big enough? This is about thinking differently. What is your vision? If anything was possible for you, what would it be? If you wanted to leave a mark, a dent on the universe, what would you do? How would you spend your time? What is your unique genius? So this week's insight is more about questioning and looking within to find that even bigger picture. And I don't care how successful you are listening to this, or even if you're just getting started, Are you thinking big enough? How will you put a dent on the universe? So let's now move into the next piece. What's working now? Just a very brief update on Unstoppable HQ. What's going on over here? Well, I'm about to launch my first signature program for the Unstoppable brand. It's for game changers, movement makers, and people who are committed to blazing a trail and creating transformational results for their clients. There's a webinar taking place tomorrow night 
and I'm going to be showing you all the strategies, the five steps that I'll be taking to launch my signature program and take it from zero to full capacity within 28 days. You'll be able to copy every single strategy. It's a pure content-rich webinar, and I'll be walking through how to create a signature program, how to price it, how to promote it, how to market it, how to enroll people onto the program, and how to deliver the program so that you can increase your impact, your influence, and your income in far less time. So it will enable you to raise your prices and work with your ideal clients. So come along, check it out. It's going to be kicking off at 7 p.m. GMT. If you go to danjgregory.com forward slash webinar, you get all the details there. Penultimate section is a quote of the day. Today's quote of the day is, when you are not practicing, someone else is. And when you meet them, they will win. I really like that. And uh, I couldn't find the source of that quote. A number of people had claimed it as their own. So the true origins of the quote is unknown to me. But what I liked about that was that linking back to the piece about skill development, if I'm not mastering my craft, if I'm not taking the time to improve my skills and someone else is, then I will never reach the top because someone else will beat me to it. And finally, your challenge of the day. Think different. My question for you to take away to finish this episode is, what is your unique genius that will enable you to unleash your greatness? What is your unique genius that will enable you to unleash your greatness? Think differently this week. I look forward to tuning in on Thursday with you. I've got another very special guest coming up this Thursday. Uh, you may have seen some of the posts on Facebook about it, secret meetups and secret locations, recording episodes and Range Rovers. It's all to come. So tune in on Thursday. I can't wait to share the session with you. Remember, go out there, make it happen. You're unstoppable. <laughs>